Yo, what do you do, YouTube? Welcome back. Well, I don't even have any subscribers. I think I have three subscribers. So ain't nobody watching these videos, but welcome to the channel if you do come across this video. In today's video, we're about to go hit the uh, Goodwill outlet and pick through the bins real quick, see what I can find. It's 7.30 in the morning. The bins open up at, uh, open up at eight. So, we'll be right on time, people. The first video I made on this channel was about consistency, and I have not been consistent as far as waking up, and even as far as going to the, uh, going to the thrifts. Waking up at 6 a.m., I mean. I set a goal to wake up at 6 a.m. like two weeks ago, and I'm not getting up at six. I didn't, I didn't even get up at six today. My alarm went off, I hit snooze, and then, hey, Thankfully, I woke up at like seven and then just had to get ready to uh, get ready to come to the outlet. But like I said, I have a hard time. Man, this road is noisy. I have a hard time being consistent and I'm going to keep working at it day by day, you know, and just continue to try to get better. But today's video, we're about to hit this Goodwill and hopefully it's a good day. Stay tuned with me, just come along for the ride. We're here, people. It's not open yet, though. 7.54, so we got six minutes. And then, time to get in now. All right, y'all, after the first rotation, we only got one thing. And then I got this football for my, uh, my girlfriend's nephew. He loves the NFL, so I got that for him. But, uh, only got one thing and I'll show you guys uh, what all I got at the end of the video when I do a little haul but yeah it's a slow day right now only one piece so far so when we got here they only had this rotation out and then they haven't brought out any other ones yet and then the one over there it got some clothes but it all got some it also got some hard goods and stuff like that in it so it's not a lot of stuff in that one but this was the only rotation that was out so far. So now we just play the waiting game and hopefully something comes out soon. <laughs> y'all we got like six or seven pieces i don't know it's been like five rotations so uh it was slow this morning but it picked up a little bit yeah it picked up a little bit uh i'll show you guys everything i get like i mentioned uh, at the end of the video once i get home but slow day one thing i do need to get better at is just picking up stuff to sell Today I did pick up like three pieces that I, I wouldn't wear, but you know, I knew it would sell. But uh, yeah, most of the time when I'm uh, going through the clothes, I'm usually just getting stuff that I think is cool, which I think everyone does. Most of the people who do this thrifting thing that resell, a lot of people get stuff that they think is cool, you know, which is fine. But I think I pass over a lot of stuff just because I personally wouldn't wear it, you know? But uh, yeah, so far so good. It's 10 o'clock, it's 10, 11 to be exact. Been here two hours, uh, plan on staying to maybe about 12. Don't really wanna be here all day. I usually leave around 12, so yeah, we'll be here two more hours and I think they're about to bring out two more rotations. So let me head in there and get ready for that. was the damage which isn't bad at all 
So I'll show you guys everything. Whole IKEA bag full. Not sure how many items yet, but it looks that we had 15.8 pounds. A dollar forty-nine a pound. So came out to twenty-six forty-two. So see y'all when we get home. Alright y'all, we back at the crib. Uh it was a slow day today at the Goodwill Bins. I did come across, I think, like 12 pieces. Oh, let me call them real quick. So 11 pieces of clothing, and then I got three other items, some shoes, and then like a football, and like this uh, this chair that I'll show you guys later. But yeah, let's get into it. The first item of today, first item that we actually found is this Providence uh, quarter zip, I think they're called on the Jan Sport tag. It looks like it's new age. I need to learn these tags, honestly, man. But yeah, it's this little Jan Sport uh, Providence college quarter, quarter zip. Dope little piece right here. Uh, it's a size medium, so I won't be wearing it, but maybe my girlfriend will like it. If not, then I'll throw it up on uh, Depop or something like that. Or maybe eBay. But yeah, it's cool to find. Next, we got this Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame crew neck. Just got the Notre Dame spell out with fighting Irish and then like a, uh, the University of Notre Dame. Yep, just a little navy blue crew neck, Notre Dame. This one's pretty sick too. This one might be vintage. It's a size large, but it, it, it honestly feels like a medium. And I'm gonna try this stuff on, so you'll be seeing me trying the stuff that I can fit on once I go over it. Yeah. Next up is this, this nice little windbreaker jacket. Uh, pretty sure it's vintage. It just says Rocky Mountain Jaguar Club. And then it got like a Jaguar emblem in the steering wheel. No, this piece is super dope. In the back. Rocky Mountain Jaguar Club with a Jaguar across the middle. This is a super dope find. It's a size, it's a size small. <laughs> so yeah, I can't fit this either. It looks bigger. It looks bigger than a small actually, but yeah, I don't think I can fit it. I'll try it on though. Just to show you guys. Uh, next is this Indiana College hoodie. It's on a Russell, Russell Athletic, uh, Russell Athletic tag. Yeah, it's an Indiana, Indiana spell out across the chest. Super dope colorway. I guarantee you, my girlfriend will want to keep this though. But yeah, super dope. It's a size medium. So I doubt I'll try this on. Next is probably my favorite find of the day. It's a polo wrap Lauren. Another quarter zip, a little jacket. It's, it seems pretty big, it's a size extra large. Got the center zipper and pockets. Definitely like this piece. I like the faded look on it. I even know the inside of the hoodie, the blue is faded with the all over red faded as well. Super dope pickup. I'm sure this can sell, but I'll probably rock this for a little bit. Got a stain right here, but I'm, once I show all these things, I'm gonna wash it, and then that's when I'm gonna try it on. But super dope though. Next piece is another Indiana college hoodie. I was gonna throw this back because it's, it's not really vintage, but it is reversible. So on the outside, it just got like the, inside, the material that's usually on the inside of hoodies. And it got the Indiana spell out on the chest. And then you can flip it. And it has the Indiana spell out on the chest on this side as well. In the gray colorway. I thought it was super dope. Uh, I'm sure someone would like it. Yeah, I picked this up. I think it's a size medium. It doesn't have a size tag. Unless this, yeah. I think this is a size tag on the back. Uh, size medium, so. 
Got super cool love. A college hoodie. Another college hoodie. I love finding college hoodies and crew necks and stuff in the in the bin. So anytime I find them, I pick them up, even if it's not vintage. Like this one, it isn't vintage, but uh, it got the Nike Nike hit on the, the neck part, the upper chest, like right here by the neck. But then it has the Tennessee logo right across the chest. The reason I picked this up, honestly, though, is because I wanted to see if I could take the stitching out and then have that little faded, like it probably, I don't know what it's gonna look like, but I assume it's gonna look like a faded T, like the faded logo. And then with the Nike check on the, on the front. The vintage Nike hoodies like this with Nike center check usually go for hundreds. So maybe I can still flip this for like 50 if I can get the, if I can get the uh, logo off. We'll see though. But even with the logo, I still think it's super dope. So I just want to try to rework it and see what I can do. Next, I have this, like a denim shirt. This is a denim button up shirt, uh, two pockets on the side. <clears throat> the brand is Columbia. Yeah, Columbia Sportswear Company. So a dope little Columbia uh, denim shirt. I'm sure I can find a, a nice little fit to wear with this. It's pretty big too, I think it's a size. It actually doesn't have a size on it, but it, it looks like a it looks like a two X, but it's probably an extra large. This I saw these going for like forty five on eBay. It's the only reason I picked it up, but it's a independent truck company hoodie. Nothing crazy. There's no logo on the front. It just got the uh, independent on one sleeve, on the right sleeve, and then truck company on the left sleeve. And on the back, it has like the independent logo at the bottom. Yeah, basic hoodie. The ones that say independent across the chest, they were going for like 45, 50, so I figured I could get like 25, 30 for this one. Seem like these, uh, seem like these sell pretty well. And then after that, we got this Xavier crew neck, another college crew neck. Uh, this guy was gonna throw this back actually, and he he saw me uh, looking at some of the other, other college crew necks I have. And so he asked me, did I want it? So of course I took it, this new age on the Fanatics uh, tag. So not vintage at all, but I think it's still a little dope. Crew neck with the embroidered, embroidery across the chest, Xavier still out. And then last, as far as the uh, clothing goes, is this Disney princess. This is for my girlfriend. She is a nurse. And she worked with a lot of kids in uh, like the school districts, so she likes to wear stuff like this that that uh, that kids like, because you know just a conversation start up with the kids. So got this for super dope Disney princess crew neck. I'm sure she'll love this. And I also got her these Uggs, which we're going to next. Some green. Uggs, they're in pretty good condition. I'm sure you're not supposed to throw them in the washer, but I'm gonna throw them in the washer and then, you know, hopefully the suede is still intact. And this is also for my girlfriend. <laughs> it's a Harry Potter, like little seating, a little chair. And he got like the uh, different Ravenclaw, uh, Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, I don't even know that one. And then Slither. And then with the Harry Potter logo on the front. But yeah, it's super dope. I'm sure she'll love this too. She's really into Harry Potter. So when I saw it, I thought of her and just picked it up for her. And then last, like I mentioned in the video, this uh, NFL football. I just got this for my, my girlfriend's nephew. He, I mean, I mentioned it earlier in the video, but yeah, he's into football. His favorite team is the Dallas Cowboys, but the dude, Loves football, so grab this one. Got all the teams right here, and uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, wasn't too crazy today in the thrift, but try to get out as much as I can. And uh, I need to start listing some stuff and selling some stuff, so I might not go tomorrow to the thrift. I'll just I'll probably just stay home and list everything on you know Depop 
I want to start using grilled as well. So I made an account with grilled. So I'll probably post up there. And then some of the stuff might go to eBay as well. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Uh, if you see anything you like, follow me on Instagram, Ellamamaze and just DM me there, and then we can talk about it. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video there. Thanks again for watching if you tuned in. Like the video, because that helps other people come across the video, so definitely like it. Yeah, I appreciate y'all, I'm out.